on YouTube. Well, I'm here at the terminal in Joplin. I figured, you know, I'd give a little walk around tour, you know, that kind of thing. Check out, check it out. I'm still trying to get familiar with it, but here we go. So some of the things that I, I want to do right now is in the next couple months, I'm going to be uh, looking into leasing uh, through uh, Conway. I'm about getting my own truck. Uh, it's a career goal of mine. Uh, it's something that I've wanted to do for a long time. Uh, so probably in the next couple months or so, I'm going to start looking into it more heavily and uh, that kind of thing. And we'll uh, we'll see where it goes from there. Right now, you know, I'm just going to stay a company driver and, you know, just get a better feel of the company and that kind of thing. So far, I, I've really got no complaints about um, Conway. Uh, they've been great with me. Um, I don't know. I haven't really heard anything bad about them. Um, I I can't really say anything bad about them at all, really. Um, so that's why I'm kind of looking into leasing. Um, they got a great lease program over here, from what I understand. Um, they pay 95 cent uh, per practical mile, uh, empty or loaded. And, uh, so, you know, it's, that's just some of the, that's just some of the Now that things. I have found that paper, here's, here's what they're talking about. Here's what they offer. A uh, base pay of 95 cent per practical mile loaded and empty. Solo and team bonuses. Northeastern pay, hazmat pay, up to a $2,000 sign-on bonus for new recruits and additional units to your fleet. Uh, base plates, electronic transponders, and permits, if the filed and paid Qualcomm, no force dispatch, free rider program, and free pet pass. Um, you get a Com data card and fuel discounts. Fuel surcharge, uh, national accounts, account prices on tires, uh, discounted shop rate at $55 per hour. Well, you know how some of those places are like 100 at like a TA's Petros, they're charging like 100 hundred dollars an hour for repairs so that's pretty cool uh maintenance account available probably at like tas and pilots and that kind of thing um cargo liability insurance uh fuel reimbursement after completion of orientation health dental and life insurance available uh yeah that, that's just a couple of them the things that you're that you would be responsible for as a lease operator would uh, Conway is transfer fees $13 a month uh, escrow account $2,000 paid up front or three cents per practical mile until the amount is met state county and city taxes of titled and tagged truck any federal taxes included uh, including form 2290 non lab non trucking liability twenty seven fifty a month required um, occupational accident insurance one hundred thirty dollars and or workers compensation will vary in states both are monthly but uh they require uh, the leasing company i can 't remember the name of them right off the top of my head but they uh they want fifteen hundred dollars down uh, they got really i think just about any truck you're looking for. Uh, me personally, I'm going after a Kenworth um, T680. I just like the truck. Uh, it's a very nice truck. Uh, I don't really know if I'm looking for an automatic or 13 speed or 10 speed, but I'll get to that when that time comes. You know, so I don't know. That's just some of the things I'm looking at doing right now, and to uh, and furthering my career and you know a goal of mine, but. You know, so that's that's fun. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, I know a lot of people are, they say, "Oh yeah, uh, you shouldn't do leasing. It's a it's a trap. It's a setup." Blah 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 blah. But I don't really know how I feel about that because 
it's what you make of it. If you're good about balancing your budget and handling your finances, you really shouldn't have anything to worry about. If you're doing uh, excess spending on really mess you don't really need, then you know you're gonna end up being broke all the time. Or if you ain't running right, uh, managing your clock good, and that kind of thing, you're gonna have issues. So I think a lot of that is just from failed. Uh, leasees so that's not any real reflection on the leasing company in some cases a lot of it, a lot of it's because of the drivers not knowing what the hell they're really getting into and then they end up failing or the company doesn't really help them out or whatever the case may be they end up they end up uh, failing in their leasing venture you know your career is really up to you on how you want to go about handling it me this is an option and a route that i'm looking at uh to better my uh secure my future financially and the longevity of it and uh my career um you know this is it isn't going to happen today or tomorrow but you know it's going to happen and i'm looking forward to it because i think it's going to be a, a good thing it's gonna open a lot of doors and stuff like that and the potential of me being able to have my own truck. So I really like the choice at the end of the day is yours if you're a trucker on if you wanna lease or be a company driver. There's nothing wrong with company drivers. Hell, I'm a company driver right now. You know, and I I like it. There's a lot of perks with being a company driver that you don't have as a lease operator or owner operator and there's perks that you uh you have as a lease operator or owner operator that you don't have in freedoms that you don't have as a company driver so you know it's it's all about how you look at it and what you think is best for you and your career really that's that's the gist of it you know that's what it boils down to is what's best for you and where you want to take your career to you know that's you know but that's for, that's for anything that's just life really it's the attitude and perception you have of it you know so let me let me get it to here real quick i wasn't going to do this but why the hell not i've got uh the ipv3 li here with the crown and uh, I'm vaping on uh, Rocket Man from uh, One Hit Wonder. It's pretty good. I like this is one of my probably one of my top favorite juices from One Hit. I like Muffin Man, but this one's really good too, though. So let me get let me get a toot here. Okay, yeah. So I'm gonna cut this ramble short, and uh, I'll add some stuff to it maybe later on i don't know but that's really all i want to talk about as far as the trucking goes uh tomorrow or in a couple of days coming up i'll uh talk about the fda regs and and that kind of thing so be on the lookout for that all right y'all i'm gonna close it out here um yeah if you want to click the subscribe button if not it's cool too i don't really care I don't really care. But uh but yeah, so with that said, y'all be safe out there and I'll be talking to you later. Bye. So here's a quick little I got the hey, I got hey, I can't die for I got the die gates. I got the fucking die gates. No motherfucking pussies up here. My daily conversation it consists of hustle. Grinding from the bottom, sick and tired of struggle. Shining, don't want to pop it off, it's on the muscle. Police is harassing, don't want to see us come up. Cause word around town, they gon' check the mood. Word around town, I flip my neck with jewels. Word around town, me and your ex are cool. And if you broke, then you know damn well I can't stand next to you. Word around town. Studio, I brought that pressure through the body. Brought my dog truck up, he ain't do nothing about it. Section that they love to rep, I'm clutching all around it. I could keep a secret and your bitch know all about it. Bread one to 100, taking road trips out to Houston. You was fucking off with.
was tackling a few zombies Pray to God he free all my niggas and I hate to see them in bondage My daddy taught me how to get it back, nigga trapping in a dope game